I've been a 20-year uh, donor to the academic department at, uh, at the Air Force Academy. Had many successes uh, with uh, programs for faculty and cadets and was looking for a legacy uh, project. I uh, did not realize that uh, the Academy Scholars existed, even though I was close to that. Uh, I was so, uh, so enthralled with uh, uh, the, poten the progress they'd made and the potential, and that I felt uh, with my uh, philanthropy experience in education, I could help uh, uh, raise the bar for this program. Becoming a Air Force officer and leader has become a more complex challenge requiring uh, lifelong learning and uh, analytical skills and decisiveness. And so we need to attract uh, those capable uh, uh, cadets and faculty members uh, who want to achieve even more to be prepared for that. In short, this gift is transformational. The renamed Martinson Honors Program will elevate our institution and provide scholars expanded opportunities to grow and develop as leaders of character. Our goal with the Martinson Honors Program is to help our varsity academics reach their full potential. This gift provides support from beginning to end of the USAFA experience for these warrior scholars. First. This gift provides resources for us to recruit top academic students to our institution, just like we do for athletics. We will identify early those high school students who can excel in a challenging academic environment and take their education to the next level. Once here, our scholars will have a space right here in the McDermott Library to call home. The creation of this scholars community space will enable interdisciplinary colloquia and forums for our cadets and faculty, as well as outside experts to engage and think deeply about the future of the profession of arms. It is a competitive way to attract top students, uh, so it's important to excel in, uh, in the, this area, and this is the, the top five, five percent. Often these are the students who are going to win the prestigious scholarships and uh, go on to uh, you know, great uh, heights in their careers. I am Cadet First Class Allison Burba. I am currently the Cadet Wing Director of Operations from Cadet Squadron 12. My major is Electrical and Computer Engineering and I'm minoring in Philosophy. I am a Marshall Scholar and next year I'll be heading over to the UK. First, I'll be getting a master's degree from London School of Economics and Political Science in Gender, Peace and Security. That's a one-year degree, so after that I'll be headed over to Scotland where I will uh, go to Harriet Watt University earning a degree in robotics. Once I'm finished with my graduate education, I will come back to the States, head over to Shepard Air Force Base for NJEPT, which is Euro-NATO Joint Jet Pilot Training, and after that I hope to fly uh, fighters or bombers in the Air Force. Through this gift, scholars will have increased opportunities to earn stamps scholarships and pursue individual research interests as an undergraduate. Prior stamps scholars from USAPA have gone on to earn the Truman, Rhodes, and Marshall scholarships and are currently representing USAPA at the very best institutions of higher education in the world. John Martinson's generosity will also enable USAPA to engage in the larger community of honors programs propelling our reputation across academia. Having our own space in which we can, you know, come study, come meet, come prepare for, you know, the, the debates in class that we have, uh, that'll, be, that'll be amazing. Additionally, uh, I'm a stamp scholar as well, and that program has been amazing. So the opportunity to fund more stamp scholars in the future, that'll be great. They'll be able to study um, the topics that they're interested in, that there isn't necessarily a formalized path for education uh, you know, through normal courses. They want to delve deeper into those topics. So having that opportunity will be great. Um, being able to do more of our like forum discussions, bringing in speakers, things like that. Uh, discussion is, is where you open up your perspective and hear something new and maybe change your mind a little bit. And so I think that'll be really important too. And so being able to have that open perspective that I think the Scholars Program uh, uniquely is able to provide, 
being able to share that more, to be able to do that better, to teach that better to our scholar students um, will be indispensable for, future, as, for them as, as future officers. I think the immediate impact will be uh, that uh, they will see the visibility of their own program more, uh, more promoted and understood throughout the academy and incoming uh, cadets. I think they'll see more enrichment programs outside uh, speakers of, of prominence. I think they'll see more opportunities for travel and uh, research and uh, interdisciplinary uh, uh, opportunities. Simply put, John Martinson's philanthropy for our Academy Scholars Program is a game changer. His generosity will increase our prestige and ability to recruit top tier academic cadets and faculty. Ultimately, the Martinson Honors Program will promote our vision of being the nation's premier institution for educating tomorrow's leaders to deter and win future conflict. I think it's, uh, you can uh, give back in any level here. The Academy uses the money very well at the margin, so to speak. Certainly, we're fortunate that the uh, uh, federal government uh, provides most of the money for the Academy, but for the extras that we need to make it even more outstanding and memorable, uh, I do believe we should be contributing uh, wherever possible. It also, you can get involved, as uh, many do at the foundation, in planning and uh, administering and thinking of new programs and uh, collaborating. And that's been also a, a satisfying process for many of us.